Welcome to the Windows and Computer Channel and this is a quick look at the latest build of Windows 10, Windows 10 Insider Preview Build 18922, which was released yesterday, Wednesday, June 19th, 2019. Of course, this is a preview of what Windows 10 20H1 will be, 20H1 meaning the first half of next year, 2020. So, um, of course, there's a few little things to talk about in here. We have some new features that we'll show you, including one that is not in the blog post, but uh, that you can see that is improved. So the install was quite long, which is very, very long. I mean, it's, you know, and this is an old machine, so I'm used to having long installs. But they've been painfully long in the past couple of months. And I know that some of you have also mentioned that you on your machines it was also painfully long compared to what it used to be. And I guess at some point this is going to probably be better. But anyways, the install went well and I have no glitches. I've been using it for many hours now and it actually hasn't crashed, hasn't had any problems. Seems to be very, very stable. So for that, at least, we uh, got to give credit to Microsoft for a good install don't forget if you got issues you can use the build uh, the image for the build 18912 that is available and then upgrade to here what's new in here well first the global experience of languages one of the things that a lot of people complained with the languages is that it was difficult to understand you know what languages and why something didn't work because of a language or something's missing or what is it missing or what do I need or not so they've improved the way that it looks so if you go into your settings into your um, date time and regional uh, stuff and you go into language on the left side you'll see that there's um, they kind of redone the way that it looks it looks better for the language, it uh, actually now separates the different languages with you know Windows Display, App and Websites, Regional Format, what is what exactly. Plus, the preferred languages are here with icons that is telling you what's installed and what's not. And when you put your pointer over, it actually tells you what is installed and what's not. And when something's missing, if you try to install a new language, you can put your pointer and it's going to tell you, well, you need this if you want speech. You need this if you want another type of, you know, whatever uh, language recognition and so on. So this is improved because a lot of people are, make, are are finding it a little difficult to understand. And I got to tell you, it is better because I am a guy that has different languages, as you see here, French, Canada, English, United States. And it's darn difficult to understand sometimes exactly what language and how to set it up right and why Cortana can't understand me or doesn't work here or now it's a little better they've improved this and I think it's a good idea that it's been improved uh, for the future for sure and what else well there's a feedback hub improvement so if you are using the feedback hub still to give out feedback of what's happening well the feedback hub has been improved when you actually post feedback so what happens is that you can go to the feedback hub and then you can actually post feedback. They've added a new way of, you know, categories, choosing categories and um, finding similar feedback. So when you post a feedback, you'll choose a category, but then you can actually click find similar feedback. If somebody already posted things, it's kind of easier to know because before you could post, you know, and that was one of the big problems of the feedback hub, actually. You'd post the feedback, but maybe somebody else already posted something like that. So here you'll be able to kind of, it's kind of easier to see what, you know, feedback people have posted and so on. So that's another thing that is probably going to help. You need to update through the Microsoft Store, the feedback hub to the latest version for all of that to actually work. And one last thing that they didn't talk about here, but they actually tweaked. Cortana's layout is different. You can see here that Cortana is actually not the same. There's a different layout of the different Cortana. Sorry, I didn't catch that. Yeah, I know that. 
So there's a different layout of the way Cortana is here. So um, including the icons for you know settings and all this stuff here on the left side with the notebook and devices. So they're kind of tweaking this, I think, to make it a little better. It's a long time since they have actually tweaked Cortana's um, you know layout. So at least they're doing something with that. And uh, so it's kind of an interesting thing to, uh, to look at. So that's pretty much it. Uh, apart from that, very stable build, like I said. Um, how about you? How has been the install? What do you find interesting in here? And of course, as we're marching on to uh, the later versions and the future of Windows in these uh, insider builds. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up, and thanks for watching.